Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends, welcome back to the Pisces portal. This is going to be a general weekly love reading <laughs> for Pisces Collective. So, Pisces, um, this might resonate, it might not, okay? And Pisces, if you'd like a personal reading, please go to piscesportal.store or you can check the description box for the link. And no, um, I do not do free readings. Someone sent me an email asking me for a free reading and I'm like, <laughs> delete, okay? You out of pocket. So, <laughs> no. Um, anyway. <laughs> Let's see what the main message is for the week when it comes to love. Just going to pick the bottom card here and see what that is. Okay. So, Pisces, the message is <clears throat> imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay, Pisces. So I feel like, you know, this week, the focus really needs to be on diffusing any negative energy. And y'all, I know y'all be sleeping, just be pressing the snooze button on my spiritual readings. <laughs> but the one I did yesterday from madness to peace is literally all about this okay and it's you know like it was really on point okay um in terms of just getting us to see how beneficial it is for us to let go of again these unwanted thoughts okay but that's just the tip of the iceberg. But go watch that reading. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, there's more available to you than you may be aware of. Okay. When it comes to your relationships, when it comes to um, possibilities and other aspects of your life. Okay, there's a lot available to you, Pisces, but if you can't see it in your mind's eye, it makes it that much harder to draw it closer to you, okay? Or for you to recognize it when it's around you or near you, okay? So, let's get some other messages here. So we have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Wow. Okay, Pisces. So when it comes to a certain friendship or relationship, you might feel like you're starting to have some doubts. Okay. Um, there's some things that you really want to know, but spirit is here to say, release the need to know. Okay, everything, all of the answers. Okay, this might be what the hold up is. This might be, you know, what truly needs to be dissolved here and transmuted. Okay, the need to know or to, um, you know, just put everything under a magnifying glass and just zoom in on it as much as you possibly can to see every little detail, okay? But Spirit is saying to let the need for all the answers go. I really feel like Spirit wants you to start this week off when it comes to love in your life with peace of mind, okay? And not stress. <laughs> love. <laughs> I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Again, there's like a major focus on what you have going on in your mind's eye this week, Pisces. Okay, across several readings. So 
there's a need for you to have a positive expectation okay so instead of doubting to be focused on seeing the good in a situation or you know expecting a positive and loving outcome instead of you know doubting and thinking and assuming the worst of someone or some situation and i've been noticing that a lot i mean i, I mean it, it comes with the territory of doing readings on you know a platform like youtube but a lot of you it's like you watch love readings and especially ones that have like positive outcomes and you still doubt okay you still don't claim the reading or you think i'm just trying to tell you what you want to hear even though you can see all the cards for yourself and put two and two together with your common sense like no okay <laughs> You know, it's a it's a choice to believe that something is for you, and it's also a choice to believe that something is not for you. So we have financial health, okay, Pisces. So some of you might have some doubts or you know negative thoughts also about where you are with your finances alongside of your love life, okay. But again dissolve those unwanted thoughts into light this week okay because it's going to help you create room for more financial health and prosperity Let's see what this is so we have commitment so some of you have doubts about commitment okay with either a certain person or just generally speaking okay but it's here for you and i really feel like these are the things again your finances and you know the expectation of commitment from someone these are the things that need to be revised okay the negative thoughts about these things need to be transmuted by the energy of love Okay, divine love, divine energy. Okay. Let's see what other messages we get here, Pisces. Actually, let me use this. So we have alone here. Abandon, lonely, lost. The divine is with you. So this is why you want answers. Okay, because you feel alone or you feel abandoned in some connection or relationship. Okay, but spirit wants you to know that you are loved in spite of feeling that way. Okay, we have settling, scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith. I mean, we have doubt here. Okay, <laughs> believe that you deserve the best. That's basically what I was uh, venting about, okay? Pisces, um, you have to start believing that what you want is for you, okay? And you might want answers and explanations for why certain things maybe didn't work out before or why something didn't or isn't going the way that you want it to right now. But let that go, Okay, you have to believe that you're deserving of the best of things. Okay. Inner child. Playful, happy, enjoy the present moment, live life to the fullest. Instead of, you know, putting all of your eggs in one basket, so to speak, when it comes to, you know, feeling like, a romantic connection is the only place in which you can um, experience, you know, happiness and joy and playfulness with another person. Um, that's not true, okay? Damn, there was something else I was going to say. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll come back to me, okay? I think that some of you... 
you you have fears that you're going to either be alone or that you're just going to have to settle for any old type of connection or person and that's not true okay i also think too pisces that some of you might need to send some love to your inner child so we have fear there's mm -mm -mm. okay darkness hesitation insecurity know that you are protected so insecurity is coming up here twice so Pisces, some of you have a lot of fears and insecurities when it comes to, um, you know, again, relationships. Some of you could have a fear of commitment as well, okay? Or again, a fear of being alone. But this is why, you know, the main message for the week is about dissolving unwanted thoughts into lights. This energy down here, it needs to be dissolved, okay? It needs to be transmuted. Yeah, there needs to be some balance here. Yin and yang, darkness and light, stay centered in your higher self, okay? Darkness is here twice as well. Some of you might really feel like you're in the dark when it comes to a certain situation. And that's why you feel alone, okay? And this is why you want answers, but there needs to there needs to be some balance here, Pisces, within you. And you have to find a way to stay centered in spite of not having all the answers, okay? Ooh. Blessings. Wow, wow, wow. Protection, attention, love. Your guides are always with you. Spirit is making it known, okay, very much so, <clears throat> that um, that they're with you, okay? So we have the divine is with you. Know that you are protected and your guides are always with you. So Pisces, you might feel alone, okay, in the physical, but in the spiritual you have so much support, okay? And you are being protected through it all. And perhaps maybe the reason why you don't have all the answers that you want or need is because you're being protected from something, some dark energy, okay? I also think too, Pisces, you're going to be blessed with um, balance in your finances and there is um, going to be balance in a connection okay um, and the love reading that I did yesterday I forget exactly what card came out because it's from a new deck but it you know a card about someone wanting to commit to you came out and I guess someone just thought that I was just telling everyone what they wanted to hear but I mean the card speaks for itself <laughs> okay like what do you want me to say if the card says wants to commit oh that they totally don't want to commit like what what do you expect me to say like I don't get it so <laughs> okay so I think this is why spirit wants you to transmute and transform negative thoughts and energy about love in your life because you know there is going to be some balance and you are going to receive blessings, okay? So it's like, what would be the point of worrying if you knew you were going to get what it is that you wanted, okay? Yes, it might be from the person that you have in mind at the time of the reading, or it could be someone else. But honestly, who cares if it's, you know, in the big scheme of things, what you truly want and deserve, okay? You know, I can't do it all. <laughs> I can't do the reading and make you have faith and claim it, okay? All I can do is just read and see what I, you know, see what I see and, you know, see how I feel. That's it. Yeah, we have karmic partner, conventional relationship, duty bound by societal conventions, okay? So... You know, I really feel like this is where the primary focus is. This is where all of that doubt comes from, okay? Because of a karmic partner that you might have settled with that made you feel alone, 
that might have left you alone. Okay, Pisces? But there are blessings for you in love. You just have to be the one to, you know, believe it. Okay? So I'm going to close this out with an angel answers card or two. So we have in the near future. Now look, this is clear as day, okay? I'm not trying to swindle you. <laughs> okay, lie to you. It is what it is in the near future, okay? <laughs> Either, you know, you're going to accept that or you're not. Either you're going to accept that in the near future, balance is going to be, you know, essentially restored to your finances or in a friendship or a connection, or it's not. Okay? <laughs> like, look for a sign while we have uh, lightning striking twice here, okay? So, I think spirit really wants you to pay attention, okay? Um, you're going to re be receiving signs and messages. And from that point, you may have to take action. And then we have no, okay? So Pisces, <laughs> it, this week you really need to say no to those negative thoughts, to any negative energy, you know, that is within you. Okay, it's time to cut the cord on that, disconnect from that, so that you can create room for these new opportunities and possibilities in your love life and in your life overall. So, Pisces, this has been your weekly love reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, please go to PiscesPortal.store or check the description box for the link. Thanks. Bye.